everyone, it is Jake Baller here, and today, as you can see, I am back with another video, 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 and in today's video, as you can see, um, a lot of basketball is here, as you guys know, I do like basketball, I'm a big fan, and some of you could even argue that I maybe have tried to pioneer basketball that is a very 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 great ASMR trigger tool and I pretty much use it in the vast majority of my videos so tonight we have a plethora of different styles of basketballs we have a signed one and a used one we have a brand new one a little mini one and even a smaller nerf style one that we're gonna be using in tonight's video to hopefully get some nice sounds out of them so if you guys like these sort of styles of videos more traditional trigger style of ASMR videos definitely let me know by giving this video a like. Like in the video is obviously a great way for you guys to let me know you guys enjoy the video. And also if you just want to support the channel, support the content, that's a great way to do it as well. Also, comment down below if I should do this with footballs, baseballs, any other sporting equipment, or even just any other types of normal trigger videos. Definitely let me know down in the comments. But yeah, we have a lot to get to. But the first thing we're gonna do is uh do like an unboxing, I guess, of this basketball here. It's a brand new Spalding basketball that gonna take a look at it open it up for you guys so let's get into it all right guys so we have here the spalding brand new basketball 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 the grip on this ball is insane very much a brand new one this is a uh official basketball size so this is a traditional size basketball Grip because obviously, if you want to dribble the ball, dribble it, 
by that I mean it's actually playing basketball in public, like an ASMR in public playing basketball video. Now, do I know where I'm going to do said video? Absolutely not. But buying this basketball, kind of just having a new ball, gives me that feeling of when I was like a little kid and my dad would get us new equipment to play with. Um, wanting to go outside so bad and, and use it. Um, it kind of reminded me of that, so yeah. I'll try to find a spot one of these days and when it's a nice enough of a day, I'll love to do like a shooting hoops ASMR video. You can all laugh at how bad I am. It's gonna be a great time. Right, I think I'm just gonna do some basketball tapping now on this guy and move on to the next, the next, the next one.
earlier in the video. I'm sorry if I'm like moving the basketball around out of view, but I would hope that you would probably more likely listen to this video than have this video open as a visual. It's not going to be very visual appealing. I'm trying my best though. But I was Andy to cater to the microphone. We have very nice uh, sound.
say doesn't really count as a basketball. You may have barely seen it in the thumbnail here. It is this little guy. It is a Nerf mini basketball. Now, as you can see from the logo, something here is a lot different than what you've seen before is a LA Clipper logo. And that's because I got this at a recent LA Clipper basketball game. When I went to a LA Clipper basketball game at the Staples Center, aka Crypto.com Arena, which is the home of the Clippers slash the Los Angeles Lakers. Now this is actually the last year the Clippers are going to be playing there at Staples Center, Crypto.com Arena. So I decided to go down there and watch a basketball game there as one of their last home games at Crypto, which is kind of cool. Now this is from the Department of Mental Health, and this is actually labeled as a stress ball, which does kind of come in handy. As you can see, I've already had, I don't know if you're able to see that, some wear and tear on the basketball already from me, giving it some squeezes and stuff like that, sort of getting to kind of wear and tear. Not sure if it's going to really make any sounds, but it, it does count as a basketball that I do have. This one, I think, is Al Farouk 
Rukuminu's signature, I'm assuming, is Alpha Rukuminu. We have this little random jointed one that looks just like a random thing. Um, a bunch of other ones. This one, I think, is Noah Vonley. Noah Vonley, a.k.a. his nickname, The Golden Child, which is kind of a dope nickname. Here I have some squiggly lines, more squiggly lines. This one was whoever the number 24 was at this current point in time, which again, I don't really remember. Um, a couple other really small ones. This one that says it looks like it's a PG. PG. Not sure who's on the team with the initials PG. Could be something else. Um, any other signatures that look kind of weird or funky? Uh, this one is one that's probably one I should not be looking at or really acknowledging, but this is uh, Myers Leonard's the signature number 11. Myers Leonard. Pretty funny. <laughs> that team. Yeah, I have a signature of Myers Leonard, but yes, this is a team signed basketball. Probably everyone is on here, but it's just kind of hard to decipher these ones. But anyways, let's get the tap. Yeah. 